All right, guys, in this video, we are going to try to count the number of, of anagrams there are of the word syllogism that start with the letter S. So for the sake of this here, this, this problem here, the word anagram just means a reordering. So in other words, we're going to reorder the letters. We don't care if it actually makes another word or not. That would be in the dictionary. We just want to reorder the, the letters. So the first thing I like... I like geometry, so I'm going to like draw this out so that we have a visual here. But the first thing that we have to do is we have to fix the first letter as S. So in other words, that first letter has to be S. We don't have a choice for anything else, right? And once we do that, then there's going to be eight more spots that we have to fill in to make our, our reordering or our anagram of this word syllogism. And when we look at what's left, we see that we have seven letters right seven letters but one of them is a repeat so the L is kind of more special than the rest of them and at this point what we there's different ways to think about this but one way to think about this is that um, we can first try to place the L's okay so if we first try to place the L's the L's are the same right so if we put one L here and one L over here that's not any different than if we reverse those that, that won't give us uh, any different of an anagram because we can't tell the difference between the two L's so placing the L's is a combination we just want to choose where they go and we don't care which one goes where because again we can't tell the difference between them the order of the L's themselves doesn't matter so like for example one of the L's goes here and the other one goes here possibly right but if you switch that it doesn't change anything so so that's that's the, why this one's a combination of these spots, right, we have eight spots and two L's. So the number of ways that we can place these L's is going to be C of 8, 2. So the combination, so 8 choose 2. Remember our notation for that is 8 choose 2, like this. And this is equal to 8 factorial over 2 factorial times 8 minus 2, so 6 factorial. And if you work this all out, this ends up being 8 times 7 over 2. So that's going to be, uh, what? That's going to be 7 times 4, right? So that's 7 times 4. Now we need to focus on the rest of these. And to do that, now we notice that we have 6 letters remaining. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 letters. And we have 6 spots, right? And now the order does matter because each one of these letters is different. So step 2 is to place the other 6 distinct letters, right? So these are all distinct from one another. And they go in six spots, right? So that's going to end up giving us six factorial choices, right? Because we have six choices for here. Once that's done, we have five more choices here, four more here, three more here, two more here. That one's just going to be fixed, right? So the number of ways that we can place the other six letters after we've placed the L is going to be six factorial. And multiplying these two together, we have to multiply these together, right? Because this is an and. We place the L's and, then we place the other six letters. So multiplying these together, we end up with, um, so I'm trying to think of a way to write this down, but so I'll just write it. We have, in this case, seven times four times six factorial choices, right, of, of reorderings. And so altogether, this means that we have, if you type this in a calculator or just work it out very carefully, you get 20,160 anagrams. All right, so that's the number of anagrams of the word syllogism that start with the letter S.